Right then guys, VW Camper. I'll give you a bit of a tour around on this one. I've taken loads of photographs, inside, outside. Entry level camper guys, that's the only way I can describe this. It's up and running obviously, it drove here. There's all sorts of gizmos in the back, you'll have to work yourself out around there. The seats, I don't really want to tear these covers off, but the seats look really nice underneath. <laughs> look good. I don't know quite why we've got seat covers on, they won't come in straight off. Engine wise, she starts up straight away, sounds fit enough. It's been ticking over here in probably the hottest day of the year. It's been ticking over here for half an hour while I've just been doing photographs and bits and pieces. And it's been quite happy. So that's a good sign, isn't it? The old fan just cuts in momentarily. I've got the same camper, so uh, the same sort of fitments, very, very similar. And I assume you must just buy all this off the shelf because mine's almost identical. Again, fridge, uh, two hob, I think it is, sink. Again, just exactly the same. Rock and roll bed, same as what I've got. Um, I haven't had an elevating roof and nor is this. We've got some form of flag or something. I don't know quite who it is on the roof. And we've got some extra bits and pieces here. Again, you'll have to just fiddle your way around. There's obviously some TV by the looks of things in that center. You'll have to just, like I say, fiddle your, finish off what I was saying. Fiddle your um, safe route, way around and just suss out how everything works. Oh yeah, there you go, there's the TV there, look. Uh, just like I had to remind the guy I bought it off didn't have, have a clue. So I had to spend a few evenings just working out what switch did what and what was where and uh, what was missing, more importantly. There was something, in, mine's got cupboards and that in there. Um, slightly different setup, but basically, you must buy the kit off the shelf, even the curtains are the same on mine. Yeah, so there we have it. We'll shut that up, we'll shut this up. I'll give you a little bit of a walk round. But I suppose it's the cheapest way you're gonna get into one of these, if you fancy one, and let's, let's be fair, they're everywhere. Now we, uh, since we bought ours, we can't believe how many we see on the road. Literally dozens and dozens and dozens. And I suppose it's the cheapest way to go camping, isn't it? Or, <laughs> it can be, should I say. So I just looked on one internet site when I was getting mine and um, it would appear you could put 50,000 quid into one of these, all singing, all dancing. Yeah. Well, this isn't 50,000 quid. It's about a tenth of that, I think. So there you are, guys. It is what it is. Entry-level camper. Come down, have a look and see what you think.